Baban, 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 Baban. Ban 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 ban. Ban 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 ban. Aviva no no. Ban 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 ban. Aviva no no. Iu da na. Aha han. Iu da na. Aha han. Hmm, that's the stuff. Soak it in, Sam. Soak it in. Oh hell yeah. Feels like I just repatriated.
Command. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until the... All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges.
Listen. Hey Sam. You remember your own birth. But me. I remember being inside the womb. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers. And Lockness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still alone. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. No distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body. Joined in spirit. We had a beach just for us. One we shared. Our own private chiral network, you might say. With cupids. We can build one that will let everyone share what Lachna and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up with Bridges. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. That could make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold. Where they would share. Share. I knew it could change the world. With Amelie's help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life. Rockno wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, six. Me and me.
Anybody hear me? Over here! Hello!
clear. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. hear your voice again. I shouldn't have kept you in the dark. Tried to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say. I'll admit. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. The limiter should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, 
I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her Ka passed over to the other side. Ka remained, bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cough loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're, We're one. one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna. Thanks to you, Edge Nut City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna, your work will help ensure that the Cairo network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam, there's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names and terms we picked out, the munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I, I've never heard of a beach turned into a... But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the chiral network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet.
Looking for this? Surprise! Fragile warped me here. I finally got to visit the beach. Well, her beach. Don't worry, I didn't come all this way for the sightseeing. Your beloved BB has a serious issue. Call me explaining that these incubators connect BBs via the chiral network to their still mothers back at HQ. Bridge babies are quite literally bridges between this world and the other side. Their place is not here with us, nor with the BTs over there. They belong precisely in between, with no greater affinity for one world or the other. But BB28 here has been leaning further and further towards the world of the living. 
towards you, sir. It's because we're partners. Hmm. Partners? Sam, a baby's a tool, not a human being. Bridge, yes. Baby, no. So tell me what the problem is. This tool, this weapon, is transforming into a living being. It's gaining weight. Its brain activity is increasing. It's accumulating memories. BB-28 is becoming self-aware. Becoming an act- Doesn't sound like a problem to me. It's hardware, Sam. Manufactured for a purpose. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pod. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Which hardly matters because at this point, it'll cease functioning within a couple of days. Cease functioning? That's right. Not even the pod will be enough. It'll be bricked. What do we do? We reset it. You'll have to leave it with me, of course. I'll cut the cord that links the two of you and then perform an operation that reconnects it to the other side. Think of it as a little tug to correct its alignment, to put it back where it belongs, right between the world of the living and the dead. But like I said, you'll have to be without it for a while. You're sure this will work? <laughs> of course. One catch, though. The surgery may erase its memories. Erase? Will forget me? Relax. The BB will still function as intended. You just have to trust me. Come on. Uh, I'm telling you, it's like a game. Just select me, try, and start again! And this is why I hate these things. Sam, I was already filthy from my trip through the beach, but now your BB has added insult to injury. in here. It's just you and me. No audio records of what we say. No video for lip reading analysis. Get closer. Die Hardman cannot know of this. Understood? I've been doing some digging into the first BB experiments. Officially, they were suspended by the government following a void out which claimed the life of the then acting president. Documents were shredded. BB technology banned, yes? But obviously, the experiments continued in secret, on the direct orders of President Strand. Bridget? The B-28 
BBs were essential to solving the mystery of the Death Stranding. Oh, she had big plans for them. They weren't designed just to be BT detectors. She wanted to incorporate them into the Cairo network to facilitate travel to the beach. But none of her plans ever came to fruition. And now BB Tech has fallen into terrorist hands. What's Die Hardman's part in this? I'm afraid to find out. Long he was working for Strand. I don't even know his real name. Or his face. I thought you might. Since you two go further back. He was already wearing a mask when I met him. Something about burning his face. Brian, sorry. Any data we have from back then is classified at the highest level. As far as I know, the director is the only one with clearance. But the Cairo Network presents a new opportunity. By compiling fragmented data in the public domain from all across the country, I might be able to piece together a little more of the puzzle. Be careful, Sam. They're watching. Well, Sam, you're a good sport. I'll give you that. Still, it's a fine way to get out of doing the laundry. <laughs> Just fix BB, all right? Oh, no. You'll be doing the fixing. I'd never manage without your help. <laughs> Check the delivery terminal upstairs for the details. When you're ready, of course. Hmm. isn't performing to spec. We'll have to put your primary mission on hold until we restore its functionality. It's our only Dooms compatible unit. And you're gonna have to deal with more BTs as you head further west. Case in point, Amelie's informed us of a tar belt outside of Edgenot City. A massive region crawling with BTs that Higgs supposedly summoned. And as much as we want you to get her out as soon as possible, you'll have a snowball's chance in hell without your BB. So your first priority is to help Deadman restore it to working order. And since he's on site, maybe the two of you can discuss it in person. Sam, I'm a little busy at the moment, so I hope you don't follow. First, I need you to link up a few preppers in the area so we can increase local chiral density. That's to bolster the connection between BB-28 and its still mother. Then, as I explained earlier, we need to correct your BB's alignment. To facilitate that process, we need to quite literally put some distance between you two. Keep it here while we send you out. If everything goes to plan, your BB should resume normal function. Fortunately, this plan advances our other objectives. We want to integrate this region into the Cairo network anyway. So build relationships with the preppers by making deliveries and convince them to come on board. It's not easy to make a home for yourself in those mountains. Even so, plenty of people had a mind to try. You'll find shelters scattered throughout. We've got a whole list of orders from them waiting to be processed. Remember, though, that you're dealing with folks who chose to live out there. 
folks who probably value their privacy. Don't think for a second it'll be easy to win them over. You will have to earn their trust, bit by bit, job by job. Another thing, Sam. You'll be making runs without a BB for a spell. That will vastly diminish your ability to detect BTs. So keep your eyes and ears open for anything out of the ordinary. And stay the hell out of the rain if you can help it. Sam? You read me? Um, Lochna? Uh-huh. Calling you via a bridge's dedicated line. I've been asked to carry on in my sister's place and provide you with support. We're whole again. One. Forever and always. We still speak, so... I shouldn't have any trouble getting up to speed. You back with Bridges, then? It's not about that. It never was. It's about what she wants. What we want. And why shouldn't we help you? You helped us. We're all connected now. <laughs> 